You know, Google Forms is a pretty great tool, but when it comes to a free app like this, you're really not gonna get everything that you need for more professional use cases. Lucky for us, the Forms app reached out to us to let us know about their amazing Forms app and how it can be a bit of an upgrade in regards to this form space over something like Google Forms, because free isn't always better. So Forms is a online form builder that has a myriad of different improvements over Google Forms. First and foremost, they have great conditional logic built into their forms, a calculator, and a myriad of third-party integrations that do really great when it comes to interconnecting all of the information that you would imagine should come when forms are submitted. When it comes to pricing, it is a pretty basic pricing plan, pun intended, with one of the options being the basic plan, then there's pro and premium, all with different options. Uh, Pro is the recommended one as it comes with unlimited forms and a very large number of responses per month in 10,000 and a huge 100 gigabytes of file storage for that as well. The experience in creating a Google form is pretty quick and simple. On the other hand, it has a myriad of different options that you'd expect in any basic form like content query. I can have a bunch of different types of questions added, changing them from short answer to paragraph, multiple choice, and all these different options. However, it is pretty limited. Like I'm not out here crazy excited about Google Forms. It gets the job done. There are some cool options regarding like sections and whatnot, but it doesn't really do, do a lot for me when it comes to things that can really be a game changer for form creation, like those conditional logics and whatnot, which we're actually gonna dive into in this video. Like if I create a form here, first of all, something that's really cool that they just started releasing in the beta is you can generate with forms AI, which is really cool. So I wanna create a, create a custom intake form for a video content request from a client and you'll see how absolutely quickly this is creating stuff. This is very good for people like me who do in fact request forms like this for different pieces of content as I run a content agency. And you'll see it asks for client's name, client email address, phone number, organization, purpose of the video, how long. I, I'm not even making this up. I actually have a form and a couple of these questions are word for word nearly the exact same. Now, one of the key things to note here is you'll see that it says, do you have a script prepared for this? And a great example of the conditional logic is if we end up pressing the settings over here and then going to logic, you'll see I can make it so that if the script is prepared and it says yes, then show the please upload the script file and then apply. Right, and then if I want to as well, there's the other option to be like, okay, do you have the script prepared? If it's no, then you can also you know, hide the if applicable. Then I can press apply here, press save. And then if I share this, just take a quick look at it and scroll down to the section. No, it's gonna disappear. Yes, it's gonna show up. And you can do this with any of the other logic, right? If you wanted to add different questions inside of here, you totally can. It's very easy to do. It just kind of matters on whether you do in fact care about all the different aspects of your form that can so easily be adjusted with that conditional logic. Now in the logic section as well, you'll notice here that there are actually calculations too. So I can add a calculation right here. What this can essentially do is showcase calculations and even adjust the thank you page text based on what is necessarily selected or what numbers have been inputted into the system. So for me, if I put something like animation is one, for example, I could say animated excitement and write something out like show detail on the page and write something like you have decided to create a beautiful animated video and we're really excited to work with you on it Then press save. And not only that, but as showcased earlier, if I just go to connect, there are so many different integrations I can go to here. Like I can connect to Slack extremely easily. And for me, I know one of the best things that can be done is informing my team when somebody would fill out this form. So this is connected. And if I go to share this, after maybe setting up a custom domain, like after opening it up, I could say, all right, Dimitri Panici right here. Get a good old, really real phone number. Filled out some other stuff in the form saying purpose 
of this video is to check out Forms app in an animated style. It's six minutes. I ain't got no script. Disappeared. Do you have any specific visual references? Yeah, I have specific. Do I? Eh, I don't have any specifics either outside of that. The other additional information I would like to say is the video better be good. Obviously, they'd go into more detail. I'm just being tongue in cheek here. And then if I press submit and adds them getting saved into the forms app and you'll see that the animated excitement with that one put right here is put along with you have decided to create a beautiful animated video and we're excited with you to work on it. That's awesome. I love that it was pretty much a custom message based on my response. And instantly the form was filled out and then put into the general chat here. That is so cool. It has the submission date. It has all of the specifics as to what the person said. I haven't experienced this with other forms apps. I love this. It was very easy for me to fill this out. Very easy for me to have a Slack integration like this. Why don't more apps have this? I have no idea. Shout out forms after that because that, that's way easier than what I have to do with Google Forms. I swear. And just to highlight again, the AI form generator made it so easy for me to make this. This is a solid form that's a starter form for sure when it comes to the questions that you might need for a video intake form. And this was made by an AI in like 10 seconds based on me putting it in, adding more context, utilizing any of these fields. It's just gonna make it a lot better. Like we're not out here saying this is gonna absolutely change the way that you experience form building, but we are saying it's gonna be pretty close because this is a great upgrade in comparison to the free options you have out there. So shout out to Forms app for sponsoring this video. I did go through and review it myself on Biasly, and I, I personally think that it is a good product and that for form fill out needs, you're gonna love being able to make stuff, connect it, see responses nearly immediately, and even have it send it to your Slack channel, which is awesome, and do so many more things with it than I thought possible when first reviewing it. If you like this video and wanna check out more content like this one on how to improve your skills using apps like these, make sure to check out more content like this video right here.